not connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them. I'm like, why all these brothers gotta wear a dress? I'd rather have Bin Laden as a central banker. I'd rather have Bin Laden than Hank Paulson. These guys are completely incompetent. They're destroying the global economy. They're destroying the American economy. They should be strung up and flogged. They stink. This is what's real. Death, okay? Dirty, ugly, filthy death. Every show tells everybody what to think. We're telling you outright that we're telling you what to think. That's what we're doing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, and welcome to the very special Halloween edition of Mind Control. The only show with the balls to tell you what's really going on. And now, here are the hosts of the show, the greatest Eddie and the greatest ever, Jeremiah. Thank you, Nita. Thank you, baby. Happy Halloween, everybody out there in uh, internet land and YouTube Happy land. Happy halloween everybody. We are live in Dallas, D-Town. Dirty D, Triple D, up, everybody else down. This right here is Eddie. Yes. That yes. right here is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And uh, Those right there are Bud Lights. What did you, where do you dress up today for Halloween? Today, I'm dressed up as a, a host of Mind Control. Okay. We're in the spirit. We've got cookies. We've got mummy pumpkins. We've got candy. Uh, we're hoping that children will come knocking on the door, come ringing the doorbell during the show, so we and we'll just laugh. Them in the house. We'll just laugh. No, Eddie. Uh, and put them in the oven and turn it on real high and watch them burn to death. No, we can't open the door because we're doing a show. Oh, we're doing the show, right? Typically, right. that's what Eddie does on Halloween. But this yeah. year, we're just gonna hoard all the candy inside. And laugh at the children because they could never get it. No, no, just like the uh, top one percent, right? There are, more, there are more important fish to fry when you're doing a live show. Yes. So it was a uh, a very scary Halloween weekend, right? Uh, did you? I, I saw you attended a Halloween party. I attended two parties, technically. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were so popular. That's right. Two I, parties. I don't know if I can even remember them. Really? Uh, both nights we were up and out till 5 o'clock in the morning. This was Friday and Saturday then? Oh my god, yeah. Friday night, Saturday night. Saturday was the big downtown, or I should say uptown, Halloween parade, big party in the neighborhood yeah. that I was forced to go to. I was forced also to take a picture next to a, a transsexual man who had enormous, enormous breasts Did you that check were literally it? out. They were literally just out. He had booby tassels on. Did you check and see if he really was a transsexual? Yeah, yeah, I put it in my mouth, so... Did you? He was a man. Okay, okay. I don't know what that means, but um, speaking of putting it in my mouth, um, both nights, Friday and Saturday night, my wife and I came home and enjoyed some very drunken, very drunken hardcore sex. Was there any anal involved? No anal? Never any anal. No? It's not really my thing. It's not really her thing. Have you tried it? No. No? No, no, no. Need don't, don't knock it until you try it, right? How would you know that you like pizza if you didn't try pizza, right? That's true. That's true. And I try pizza all the time, so maybe I should... Exactly, exactly. Use that and take that over to the anal side. Um, so I heard a very tragic story about this past Halloween. I know you had fun, but not everybody had fun this Halloween, Jer. <laughs> not everybody had fun as a... This is, she's, what, 17-year-old girl working at a haunted house. Became tangled in a noose at the haunted house she was working on by... She climbed up on the edge of a bathtub okay. and put her head inside of a noose and then slipped off. Sounds and like a, a real accident, right? So everybody who walked by that was, you know, attending the haunted house assumed that she was a prop and nobody attended to her, nobody helped her until somebody did a safety check on employees uh, sometime later in the day and realized that the girl was in critical condition near death and that's where she remains in the hospital. At, at <laughs> she was found unconscious with the prop around her neck. I think I think when it's a real thing that actually happens, it's <laughs> yeah. not a prop anymore. I think that went from being a prop to a to a suicide weapon pretty fast. Yeah. At yeah. least she, at least she didn't put her head in the guillotine and have the guillotine drop on her or something like that. That would have been a lot worse. My favorite comment that I saw in the story somebody said, who, who accidentally climbs up on a bathtub and puts a noose around their neck like It's Halloween. You do crazy <laughs> stuff on Halloween. I did, I did. The only thing I didn't do crazy this weekend was anal. Yeah. But I should have, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, uh, it's a real uh, frightening experience. It goes with that Halloween theme. That's right. Speaking Ooh. of Halloween theme, the other 
unfortunate event for those sex offenders out there in California. California sex offenders are being wrapped up. Like mummies? They're being wrapped up like mummies and forced to stay inside their homes. Law enforcement has told them that they are not allowed to come outside from 5 p.m. today. Okay. So technically, I've, I'm following the rules. I've been inside since 5. Good, good, good. And we're not allowed to leave until 5 a.m. in the morning. So a good 12-hour block there. Sex offenders in California are barred, banned, and shamed into their homes. Not allowed to open the door for anyone but law enforcement. Uh, so... Isn't that the point of Halloween, though, is to get molested by a stranger on Halloween? Isn't that kind of the, the fun in it? That was always my fun in Halloween. Yeah, but yeah. I that's, mean, what, that's what we do nowadays. We take all the fun out of everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's this PC world. You can't have child molesters opening the door for kids to come in and have Halloween candy. No, they're not allowed to decorate their house, They're not allowed, and they're not allowed to open the door for anyone. But I, I wonder what they consider decorations. <laughs> um, that's kind of a very vague uh, vague demand or whatever for these people why why what is that why would you not be allowed to maybe because it would, it would entice kids or maybe the, the the sex offender would become aroused what is this during... a police state we live in um yeah it's a police state where's the mace um so so are you sure you want to go through with this chair i'm sure i want to go through with this even though we have no viewers in the chat room it's official what we're doing today no doubt about it at Nine o'clock on the dot when the show ends, we're going to the Super Soaker bonus hour, and we're headed out to the backyard. Eddie is going to mace me. We'll be in full Halloween costumes. Eddie will be a police officer. Oakland PD. Eddie will be Oakland PD. I will be an Occupy Oakland protester, and I'm going to um, be outside protesting, and Eddie's going to come up and mace me. Because I'm a good American. Because I feel like that makes a statement, you know, like, we're assholes. Yeah, yeah, so. that's a great statement to make. I, 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 I agree with that statement. I like statements. Where is the maze? It's over there on the couch. I want to leave this here as a prelude. As just, a tease of things to come? Just so everyone knows that we're not lying. We're not fudging around. I don't think you can stand it up, but this will be used live later on the show. Against me, unfortunately. So... Moving right along in the Halloween spirit. Um, Hopefully, none of you, you get. You mean the Titanic spirit? Yeah, in the in the theme of our Luciferian overlord, our bearer of light, the leader and owner of this this realm. This realm, the flesh realm. Yes, our our Lord Satan. We present with you the special Halloween. The pumpkin. What happened here? Um, Special Halloween edition of Mind Control. Unfortunately, the live stream went out, but we're back. We got it taken care of. Don't worry, folks. We're back, fucks. I mean, folks. Um, so, yeah. So, 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 be sure you watch. Stay tuned because uh, at the end of this episode, there's going to be amazing on on our channel. Uh, Jeremiah is bitten the bullet. He's going to be the, uh, the victim of... Some some hate crimes. So. We'll go ahead and write that here in the chat. Yes. Live at nine, Jeremiah gets mace. Will just like the Oakland protesters and the Denver protesters and the New York protesters and the uh, Atlanta protesters. Pretty much everywhere in America, people are getting maced. So that's my big. That's why I want to do it. If these protesters are out there just getting maced for the hell of it. And they're out there on the street with no way of, um, you know, taking care of it, watering themselves down, right. being yeah. taken care of it. As a matter of fact, being maced and then arrested, being thrown into jail. I've got to be able to take it. So, uh, really, I just want to prove it to myself that I'm more manly than any of these protesters. Did you see the first video of the, of the, of the macing, though, where the woman screamed <laughs> in uh, terror? When she got Why are you doing this? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's to look forward to, Jer. Hopefully, we get that kind of reaction from you. Oh, yeah, you will. Believe okay. me. Okay. Um, 